So thank you so much for uh, agreeing to talk to us. Uh, so the first, I guess, uh, the idea behind Tudor Vista would be really nice to know as to how the company uh, idea itself started. Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, Tudor Vista in uh, 2006, uh, when we uh, were looking at business models, uh, the, uh, in the year 1990, 1990s, uh, to 2000 was the decade where uh, IT uh, services from India for the global market established itself. Software companies like uh, PCS, Wipro, uh, Cognizant, uh, Infosys, and all of those. And uh, in the decade of 2000, uh, n n the beginning, uh, the idea of BPO and call centers had started again from India for uh, service in the global market. But uh, we realized at that time there was uh, hardly any company that was a consumer uh, brand from India for uh, the U.S. market. So there was no B2C company. All, uh, all call centers and IT services companies were B2B companies. So okay. our desire was to start uh, um, the first uh, business to consumer company from India for the U.S. market. So uh, that's how the uh, thought came that can we build a consumer brand from India uh, targeted at the U.S. consumer using Indian resources. So that is the broad macro factor. And uh, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, we were able to come up with a business model that marries uh, internet, uh, technology, and uh, global uh, teaching resources uh, to make personalized tuition affordable for the masses in the U.S. So that okay. really was the genesis, a cocktail of uh, internet technology and uh, global teaching resources yep. to make uh, uh, personalized tutoring affordable and uh, mass market uh, for the U.S. student. You founded okay. four companies now and, and you've been the VC for many more initiatives. So what would yeah. you say are the learnings from, from these journeys or what have been the milestones with each company and with, uh, with each seller? Okay, so I think that uh, for me the key learning uh, has been uh, that uh, to uh, one uh, to succeed in business and to scale business and to create value, uh, it is far easier to focus on uh, blue ocean or uh, open uh, white spaces than trying to go after established markets. What I mean is, if you can. Uh, identify a business uh, need or a model which is disruptive and has not been done before, yeah. uh, there is far higher chances of uh, success than trying to replicate a business model by doing it better. So making marginal improvements on existing model or even trying to make uh, execute better on existing model is a lot more tougher than trying to enter um, uh, uh, blue ocean where uh, the business model or competitors do not exi exist because normally, normally when you see uh, entrepreneurs look at business models, they, they they find that people are not executing. The current incumbents are not executing well, and uh, the entrepreneur feels he can execute better. But normally, when you start executing, even though you may not make the same mistakes as existing uh, businesses, you will end up making new mistakes. So. Learning number one, go for uh, uncontested open spaces. Uh, learning number two is try to solve a big problem uh, or address a large untapped opportunity. Because one of the things is if the size of the market is large, you can create, uh, it gives you a, a wide canvas to play in. Whereas if you're going after niche in small markets, yeah. unless you become a dominant player with large market share, it yeah. becomes very difficult to make a success make a success. So a new disruptive business model in open spaces, uh, going after market businesses that address uh, a, a large market rather than a niche market, uh, and three is uh, ensuring that you don't run short of capital by raising money in advance, uh, because if you run out of capital, the game gets over even before you've had a fire. So those three have been, uh, I think, key learnings and that has uh, helped me well in all the four businesses. Okay, that that's very useful to know. Uh, what about the the trends in entrepreneurship and and in India? 
what what are your sort of thoughts on it or what do you see as uh, the future here future there no oh, i think um, one of the uh, uh, the entrepreneurship ecosystem is uh, very vibrant and is uh, uh, there's a lot of buzz especially uh, i'm from bangalore in a city like bangalore uh, it's a, it's really hot entrepreneurship is hot mm-hmm. and uh, in fact in a recent a uh, survey of the top uh, top startup cities in the world uh, bangalore was the only one from india to feature in the top 10 uh, startup yeah. friendly cities of course singapore was very much there and much ahead of uh, bangalore but yeah. the very fact that uh, bangalore has got a vibrant ecosystem for entrepreneurship has what i mean by that is you have a uh, uh, type the bangalore uh, which is a very active body you have a lot of angel investors uh, you have a lot of entrepreneurs uh, both from india as well as entrepreneurs from the silicon valley who have come back and settled in bangalore who act as mentors and advisors mm-hmm. and uh, uh, finally i think there's a lot of uh, techy population uh, uh, by virtue of technology companies here who are willing to uh, um, uh, strike out experiment and create uh, technology or internet based uh, startups so all these all these are uh, extremely well on the positive side on the uh, negative side i think uh, the uh, the the challenge of uh, there is a, 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 a challenge with series a venture capital funding uh, which has become very acute in uh, 2012 and even in 2013 that is a lot of concern because even though uh, the angel uh, investor system was very bullish and uh, 2011 2012 So a lot of companies uh, start up getting angel funded. The fact that uh, many of them don't get full-on CDC funding has uh, been a matter of concern. So we do find a lot of uh, companies which are in the danger of being orphaned after angel funding, which is which is which is a which is a concern. Uh, the second concern uh, is uh, I think creating. a uh, scalable business and monetizing through exits either through acquisition for strategic m&d or uh, through ipo uh, has been rare and uh, that has not happened which again is one of the factors that has contributed to uh, the crunch in series a funding so these two are concerns uh, uh, would have ideally like to see some more a uh, lot more stellar uh, exits and monetizations and uh, in the in the ecosystem to give confidence to uh, the whole pipeline of uh, angel investor CDC investor and CDC investor, but otherwise, I think on the whole, uh, it's a it's a great time and great place uh, to be an entrepreneur uh, yeah. in India, to be a startup entrepreneur in India, okay. especially in cities like Bangalore with a lot of things going for the entrepreneur. Okay, okay. So uh, I know that uh, Tura Vista uses internet as a, as a huge component of of the business model, right? So what do you think about companies that that sort of uh, use internet in 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 the running of their businesses do you do you see a lot of uh, future there i mean of course all over the world we see businesses that some which are built entirely just on internet and some others which use it as a component like like tura vista yeah so i, I think that, that's a, that's a good question uh, i do see in india uh, the uh, challenge of uh, see in india it is quite unique uh, Uh, in, in in terms of uh, one, it has got a I'll say unlike like Singapore or New Zealand, Australia, it has yeah. a extremely uh, it has a large population, a billion plus population. So it's a large market for uh, consumer products and services. Yeah. Uh, but the ch- but there are uh, while that is good as compared to uh, say Scandinavian countries or even countries of Singapore, the challenge the challenge is uh, this population is widely distributed across India, geography of India. and uh, m- most of them in tier 2 tier 3 cities where uh, the uh, access and infrastructure uh, is uh, quite uh, quite poor so i think while the market is large uh, the ability for any company to be able to profitably reach to those consumers uh, is quite uh, difficult so um, uh, that that these two factors make uh, technology internet e-commerce disruptive methods of doing business uh, um, uh, extremely attractive so i think uh, more than more than uh, countries uh, which are 
smaller population are concentrated over one city or one country or uh, um, uh, places like uh, like Singapore. Um, uh, in a country like India, the opportunity for uh, internet to be used as a medium uh, is uh, phenomenal, and that is what we are seeing. Right. So so we are talking about a large number of population and a population which uh, definitely needs uh, different ways to be served and and serviced. So that okay. uh, that 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 I see that. Having said that, the internet penetration in India is very low. Mm-hmm. While it's increasing because of smartphones and mobile phones, and uh, the uh, the future growth potential in the next five to ten years is humongous. Yep. It still is a low penetra- low penetration market. So, but but on the other hand, um, uh, uh, arts, uh, travel services, especially airline bookings, have shown that uh, people are. Uh, Uh, using innovative ways like kiosks or mobile phones, people are willing to use internet as a method to access brick and mortar services like airline reservation system or train reservation system. Yeah. So I think that is a huge, a huge potential. So in terms of future, I see uh, India as a great market for uh, not for something like uh, Facebook monetization or for uh, um, uh, Uh, location-based services, yeah. but more as a medium, uh, more as a medium for delivery, and that's already happening. Whether it is uh, buying uh, uh, books, uh, music, video online, or uh, buying groceries online, yeah. or uh, buying uh, shoes and different uh, fashion goods online, yeah. I think that's a it's a great opportunity. Secondly, from an entrepreneur point of view, the fact that uh, we can build businesses. Using internet as a medium is a great leveler. So yeah. suddenly, two guys out of college can build a business and compete with the Tatas and the Birlas uh, of the world, or the traditional Goenkas of the world, who have twenty uh, years, thirty years, forty years of legacy retail business. Yeah. Uh, it's a great, it's a great leveler. So internet is an opportunity for a startup entrepreneur to come in and disrupt the model, as we have seen in case of uh, Big Basket, Blue Stone, or Flipkart has yeah. shown. is that it's a great opportunity so both from the consumer point of view and the entrepreneur point of view uh, internet as a medium is great for the indian market okay okay thank you um so i see that you and uh, your wife have uh, started the initiative for angel investing through growth story so what is the shift from from your sort of ceo point of view of running a business to to vc Yeah. So uh, in GrowthStory. dot in, uh, that's a platform for enterprise investment. These are all strategic investment where where we put in where we bring in the strategy, uh, and we are co promoters of the business. The essential okay. the difference being uh, uh, these are areas where we play a, a relatively active role. Be on the board. Be part of the strategy. Be part of the strategy. Uh, be part of the strategy and uh, put some funding and also uh, take it to Series A, Series B funding. Okay. We don't exit the business like angel investor in CDC or CDSP. We are co-promoters of the business. So all of the business, we are not only on the board, we are uh, active. We are also co-promoters of the business. So that's the growth story platform. The idea here is that uh, uh, that uh, uh, there are uh, smart, uh, uh, talented, passionate, uh, and young entrepreneurs okay. uh, with whom we like to partner in growth story. dot in and that's create cool. businesses along with them as. Uh, co-promoters. So that's okay. that's really the that's really the concept. So it is not really angel because we uh, it, it is strategic investment as co-promoter in businesses. So obviously uh, it means uh, that it has to be in areas that we understand, we can contribute, we we are we are we believe in uh, okay. more than say an angel where I can I can afford to put money as an angel in say a solar power company or renewable company. Which is fine because I bet on the sector, but I don't know anything, and nor do I expect to be hands-on. That's okay. not the case that we that we do. Also, okay. it means that uh, till date, all the businesses are all Bangalore-based, within a couple of kilometers from uh, where we operate, and so that we are able to have the bandwidth to be able to spend the time. That might change okay. going forward, but essentially, the common characteristics has been areas that we understand can add value in and are physically located uh, nearby. And where we uh, we serve as the uh, promoters, co-promoters. Okay, 
uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down to my final two questions. I think uh, you, I guess you partially answered that. So my, my question was, what was your invest uh, sort of uh, investment mantra, if I can say that? So I saw there's Bukhara, there's jewelry, there's travel, there's, there's grocery. So there's, there's across all different platforms. So what do you look for in, in an idea? Uh, so uh, uh, again, uh, there, are, there are two parts to the uh, to the uh, to the answer. One is uh, it, it it needs to be something that we can add value, understand, and can contribute in, uh, which is which is which is why these are biased. You don't see a solar energy company, or you don't see a, um, a fuel fuel cell company, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. The other part is we are we are we are trying to go after a large opportunity. Uh, which uh, solve uh, a pertinent problem uh, in India. For okay. example, if you take bigbasket.com, which is an online grocery venture, okay, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. In India, uh, in metros, if you take, uh, the people just don't have the time. The traffic is horrendous. Uh, people can't, uh, there's no glory in trying to go and shop in a, uh, in a market for uh, grocery. Uh, after working hard throughout the day, there is no pleasure in it. The parking is a problem. Yeah. Now, uh, I mean, how do we make life simple for uh, the working couple or for people? Can we, 80% uh, of the purchases are uh, planned purchases. Can we take the TDM and the issue away from them? So that's, okay. that's, 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 that's an example. That's a problem that we are trying to solve. And yeah. every household goes through it. Every household needs milk, uh, uh, bread, uh, eggs, uh, rice, uh, vegetables, meat. Which we are trying to bring it to the home uh, in uh, in a design package, give a uh, uh, give the opportunity. Same thing if you take Bluestone for example. Uh, bad as a today's contemporary uh, uh, Indian uh, women uh, between a, uh, aged from 20 to 45, bad as, bad as she get uh, a choice of designs from the comfort of her home, yeah. uh, which is not clunky jewelry, which is not clunky old age jewelry at the same time, uh, which is contemporary and uh, have the choice to be able to see 2,000 different designs, yeah. okay, right, and pick pick from them. No retail jewelry store can afford to stock so much of jewelry yeah. and um, be profitably be able to service. Yeah. The real estate costs in India are even higher than most of the places, place like Bangalore or Bombay is yeah. higher than Singapore or higher than Manhattan uh, or uh, as much as Japan. So yeah. that being the real estate cost in India, you can never have a large store with 2,000 uh, SKUs to be able to show the designs to uh, uh, the uh, Indian target, Indian yeah. woman who is uh, our target customer. So yeah. that is, uh, we have the ability to be able to do it online. So primarily using technology and internet to address large problems, which are, some of them are very specific to India and Indian, Indian challenges of infrastructure and uh, space. And uh, general diversity, like in Bluestone, we get uh, customers from 100 different locations in India, mm -hmm. different cities, towns, or small towns. Yeah. Now, there is no way possible to be in uh, 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 tier 3, tier 4 towns yeah. for the consumer to have access to the same thing that a person in Bangalore, Bombay, Delhi has got because of yeah. Bluestone.com. So that is the common, common thesis, use of technology, internet for large unsolved problems in India, which... Uh, we can we can address. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. And and I'm just down to my final question, which is: uh, so, do you? Uh, so, what what would be some of the typical productivity hacks that you use for your day, or what sort of ideas that you use to make your day more efficient that you would like to share with the community? Um, what productivity? Uh yeah, just I mean, it could be a morning jog that that makes your day uh, perfect, or it could be checking out emails first thing in the day, or maybe not first thing in the day. No, so uh, no, my my own personal day I play uh, uh, six a. I I get up when I sleep less. I get up very early because okay. the morning time gives me ability to be able to uh, do my tasks. So I start my day pretty early. One, two, mm -hmm. uh, I play tennis uh, every day. Uh, 6 to 7.30, so that, okay. that revs up the metabolism and makes me more productive and, 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 and sets, me up, sets me up for the day. And that's a routine. I, uh, whenever I'm in town without fail, seven days a week, I, yeah. uh, I do that. Uh, I, I do that. Um, other, than, other, than, other than that, uh, my uh, day is pretty much uh, planned in advance with, uh, with meetings, 
uh, with meetings which are which are which are scheduled i'm not a party animal i don't socialize i don't party okay. i don't party so i get lot uh, i get to sleep by 10 uh, i get to sleep by 10 pm so that i can get up at 5 so okay. uh, i get I, i get a lot of time by uh, uh, trying to avoid uh, peak hour traffic because my okay. business is being internet business so allows me the luxury to work using uh, uh, using a video conferencing skype and yeah. uh, internet and internet and email so uh, so, so basically um, productivity wasters like travel and time i try to uh, yeah. avoid consciously by uh, scheduling it better okay thank you thank you so much i'm um-